Well, good morning everybody. This is uh, Loyal and Matthew. I've got a weird project that uh, I've been working on for the last week. Uh, it is a radio-controlled quacking traffic cone, and you might be able to hear it in the background. Just going to do the debut run of this. It's the first time this one has been turned on. I have a prototype of another one that has run a bit, but not much, and not in the space. And so here it is. So, this guy is going to be a little bit tough to show off. It is a traffic cone on a radio control vehicle. And with this, it quacks. Now, that's pretty easy to do. It's just a little MP3 player. But it quacks at different rates. And as you heard, it's got a configuration mode. Now, this is all through the radio, and I can set most of the settings. Including volume and stuff like that. And uh, once you have everything set up, you just have to leave it for 10 seconds, and it'll go back into run mode. It's a bit of a glitch. There's a bit of a glitch right now in that uh, it'll go into configuration mode when going backwards if you're turning. So I need to fix that. This thing is a lot of fun to run. And if, in case you're wondering about the top heaviness, it is very top heavy. But it's very hard to actually make it uh, flip over. Oops. Helps if I don't run it into something. Anyways, that's what's happening at uh, Vancouver Hackspace right now. And as you can see, it's the only thing happening. And of course, it's also 4.30 in the morning. Hopefully, uh, these will be fully operational. I've got two more to just finalize. And... Uh, That'll be shown off tonight at, um, I wish I could tell you the name. Anyways, I'll try to make a link of it on the uh, video. But this is Oil with the uh, radio-controlled quacking traffic codes. Have a good night.